So uh, first, let's talk about the problem. Um, for those of you who answered five or more, or uh, potentially the folks who answered, I don't know, this will probably look familiar, but when you see most DevOps visualizations in a textbook or marketing copy, uh, it's usually represented as kind of a, a left to right diagram of stages or an infinity diagram, which we have, and you'll see that in a second too. Um, and that is the right way to think about the process, I think, but it's a, not necessarily the right way to think about what the tools actually look like. They often look a lot more like this. So in this image, you have multiple tools to support all of those things we just asked you about, you know, project planning and creating the code and testing it and CI and deployment and security and monitoring and everything you need to do to take that idea and turn it into software in the hands of users. Um, they all need to function. Uh, that's the first thing. All of these things need to be kept running and they need to communicate. Ideally, any one of those tools should be able to communicate with any other tool. Uh, so that you can have a steady flow of information. But at the very least, they need to be able to connect to the tools um, that they would sit next to in that end-to-end -end diagram. Um, and, that, and that's something that uh, you're going to need to uh, potentially build or at least maintain yourself. So that's the first problem you encounter is just the, the overall cost of this integration complexity. So you need to um, not only you know, design and build and maintain the integrations potentially, uh, you need to manage upgrades. Uh, you may need to establish high availability and disaster recovery for each one of those with a separate plan. Uh, those integrations can fail on you. They're fairly brittle in many cases, if they're, especially if, they're, if you're doing something kind of new or novel and you're out there on, on the leading edge of that and you are on the hook for maintaining that or you're paying a very large sum of money to someone else to do it. So the second problem uh, that comes up from all of that is time. Even if you have all the money in the world, you're losing time and it's time from people who um, may not do this as part of their core job. In many cases, uh, they may be developers or operations folks uh, who, who really could be doing something more productive and more fun and something that they were actually hired to do. Um, so that's, that's, that's a lot of time you're going to lose and a lot of productivity that you're going to lose from it. Um, and then finally, I think you're, there's, there's visibility. Every one of these connections is a potential choke point, whether that's a plugin or an API. If it's something someone else has created, there may be a limit to how much information can pass through and how much information you can query. So you may need something from a tool that the creators of the API never really thought of and you may not be able to get that. So what that means is that people working in other tools may not have the full picture of a story, which means that you have emails going back and forth and Slack messages and a bunch of stuff that should be happening within your tools that isn't happening within your tools. And uh, that's, that's a big problem, a, an even bigger problem if you work in uh, our, an industry where compliance and you know, regulations generally are, are a big thing. Mm -hmm.